Hello everyone, today we will talk about Xui 2D. Xui 2D is a new cross-platform game framework. The purpose of this tutorial is to help you with the configuration needed to get started and to be able to run the many examples available. The framework is made of several components. The first one is Xui 2D. This library wraps Box 2D. This is a very popular open source physical engine. There are actually two wrappers, one for B4J and B4A and another one for B4I. The second component is Bitmap Creator. This is a cross-platform graphics engine written in B4X. The source code is available in the forum. It's also available as an internal library. And there is the X2 framework. These are a set of classes that you should add to your game project. The framework, the X2 framework, these classes are responsible for connecting the physical engine and the graphics engine. And they also include many other game related features. The X2 framework has built in support for uh, tiled maps. Tiled is a free map editor and it can be used to define both the, the game map and also the various bodies. So the first step is to download it and install. It looks like this. And we need to also add the object types definition. It is included in the example pack, which we will download in the next step. But once you download it, you need to go to, to the object types editor, select import object types and import, show it again, import object types JSON file. It should look like this. Whenever we create a body and set its type to X2, we should see this list of properties. I'm not going over all these properties in this tutorial. You can find this information in the various tutorials. But if you are not seeing these properties when you set the type, then tiled is not configured properly. Let's download the examples pack. Both bitmap creator and Xui 2D are being improved all the time and you should always make sure to use the latest versions. Let's see it over here. B4J, B4A and B4I. Xui 2D and Bitmap Creator are internal libraries. Make sure to copy the updated versions to the internal libraries folder. Okay, so we are downloading. Once downloaded, we take the complete folder and extract it. Let's start with going over the example structure. We can see the project specific folders. Object types JSON file, which we've seen in the previous step. This is the file that we need to import into tiled. And the classes over here are the X2 framework classes. These classes are shared by all projects. So anytime we update one of these classes, it is being updated automatically in all the projects. Let's open a specific project, a very simple one. We have a folder for each of the platforms. We have the class, the game class, that is shared between all three projects. And in many of the examples, you will see several classes over here. The game is implemented in these classes. The shared files folder is the place where we keep the game's files, all the files except of the layout files. The two JSON files over here are the object types. This is the same file as we've seen in the root folder. And the more interesting file is this one. This is the, this is the map. If I will open it. Okay. 
and you can see the, the body is defined in the map. Whenever we run one of the projects, these files will be copied if needed to the files folder of the specific project. This means that practically the files are shared between the three projects. So in the project specific folder, in the platform specific folder, we only have the main, the main project file. And in the case of B4A, we also have the starter module. The files over here, if you'll check their sizes, you'll see that they are actually empty. This is how they are packed in the examples pack. Once we run a project, let's see for example, let's run the Should be over here. So I've opened the B4J project. There is the main module, which is unique to each platform, and the game, the game class. This class, in this case, all of, all of the game is implemented in this class and this class is shared by the three platforms. You can see it over here that the game module is one folder up and the X2 classes are two folders up. The custom build action over here is responsible for copying the files from the shared folder to the platform specific folder. I recommend you to start with B4J. It is much simpler to develop and to try all kinds of things with B4J. And once you are ready, you can test it on the other platforms. There is a very important feature that helps during development, debug drawing. You enable it by uncommenting this line. Once enabled, you will see all kinds of markings that show you how the physics game engine sees the current uh, the world state. You should expect to get 60 frames per second with debug uh, drawing disabled. It is currently a bit slower because of the screen capture process. That's it for this short tutorial.